And now at five, London terror attacks. This morning, ISIS claiming responsibility for the violence that left seven people dead and 48 others injured, including one American. The London Bridge is back open this morning as Londoners make their way back to work after that deadly terror attacks over the weekend. Three men crashed a vehicle outside a pub in the borough market area, then got out and began stabbing people. CBS 4's Meg Oliver is live in London this morning with the latest. Meg, good morning. Good morning, Eugene and Maribel. As you just mentioned, London Bridge has reopened with one lane of traffic moving through, and there is this steady stream of commuters that have been crossing the bridge. They're walking by this memorial where victims have been remembered with flowers and cards, and then there are the morning papers with chilling headlines like this, Massacre in the Market. Authorities in the UK continued their hunt for accomplices in East London this morning, rounding up several people at two addresses in the region in connection with Saturday's terror attacks. On Sunday, police swarmed an apartment building in the suburb of Barking, taking four men and several women into custody. A resident there says he recognized one of the three men killed by police after allegedly carrying out the attacks as his neighbor. He had a, a young wife, uh, from what I could see, and two children, so a toddler and a recently born baby. Chicken. The suspected terrorists used a van to mow down pedestrians on London Bridge before crashing the vehicle and stabbing people at random in Borough Market. They didn't have no remorse. They, I saw the look in their eyes. They were pure evil eyes, all three of them. In the end, a number of locals and tourists would be dead, including a French citizen and Christine Archibald of Canada. The attack here along London Bridge came just two weeks after a suicide bomber killed 22 people at an Ariana Grande concert about four hours away in Manchester. Back in the U.S., in his first public comment on the recent attack, President Trump vowed Sunday to protect Americans from terrorists. We renew our resolve, stronger than ever before, to protect the United States and its allies from a vile enemy. The Department of Homeland Security says there is no credible threat to the U.S. at this time. We're also learning new details about the victims. The Canadian woman, Christine Archibald, who was struck on the bridge, was with her fiancé at the time. His family says he held her in, her, in his arms as she died. Eugenia Maribel, she was only 30. Meg, thank you. Reporting live from London.